Maybe you've just moved into a brand new place, perhaps even finished renovating, or looking for a brand new look for your lounge room. How do you do all of that easily without having to paint the walls or drill holes everywhere? Well, what I want to do is step you through three very different styles using key pieces of furniture. This just might have you feeling inspired for a fresh new change. If you've got young kids like me or teenagers at home, things can get pretty hectic. You don't want to go for a look that is too precious. Things need to be colourful, easy to maintain and most of all, fun. Now what I always suggest to people is to start with the things in the room that just can't be changed. In this case, the most dominant thing we can't change are the armchairs. Starting with blue, that's my base colour, I need to have colours that will accent well against it. Timber always goes well with blue, nature always goes well. Blue and orange, well they're opposite on the colour wheel, which doesn't mean to say that you have to have full strength orange in there, you can have many shades of that and that will create a more harmonious effect. So in this case we're going to go for this lovely clay pink and just bring it in with a pop of accent in mustard yellow, that will draw back the natural element. So all of this together will combine to create a really relaxed, friendly space. So let's start from the ground up. For this one it's the rug that really does dictate the whole style of the room. What we've gone for is something really bright, happy and colourful. Look at that, it's just a riot of colour. Now what's so great about a rug like this in this space is we've gone from man-made fibre which is incredibly practical so you don't have to be too precious. With all of these colours and patterns going on, if there are little mishaps, no big deal, you're not going to lose any sleep over it. Water repellent which means you can blot up little stains, great if you've got pets as well. And in terms of laying it out, because we've got a big rug like this, you could choose to have it either widthways or lengthways, it's entirely up to you and how you place your furniture. Back in with the sofa, she's a bit of a plain Jane now but just wait till we add a bit of colour. And to continue colour throughout the room, don't forget the art. A lot of people underestimate wall art and you don't have to spend a fortune. Mix it up, you can go for original art on canvas, you can even frame up some artwork. Even kids drawings look fantastic once they're under glass and in a frame. Never forget a little bit of green in the room. Live plants go such a long way and last a lot longer than fresh flowers. And just a couple of books under there. Just raise the height and just give it a bit more character and personality. Of course, some double-sided tape to fix your artwork to the wall would make them just a little bit more kid-friendly. To style up a couch, you know, cushions and throws really are your secret weapons. And as for throws, there's no real way of styling them. You can drape them how you like. You can even buy them thicker for warmth, but this one's purely for decoration. Start with your hero pillow. This is my one, which I'm going to place at the back. And you can feel that feather, it's soft. You can do a little karate chop if you want to, always optional. And here we've got another plane. Just nice detailing in there, just that little bit of texture just really does make such a difference. And here, just a polka dot, it's fun, but the pink picks up on the pink in the block cushion. Just offset that, just keep it relaxed and fairly casual. You probably notice I haven't had to paint the walls at all. It's all been done completely with accessories, which is easy enough to do. I always say for any look, you need to start off with what I call a jumping point, which is your inspiration for the whole space. And in this case, it was this beautiful rug. It's almost like painting a bold splash of colour right across the floor. Now, there are so many colours in here. Of course, we had the blue, so we were lucky there. But I've also drawn out this gorgeous ochre and this lovely clay pink, which are really on trend this season. But in terms of the shading, these are earth tones, which are nice and natural and easy enough to live with. And also, just by flipping the room around, taking the sofa from that side to here, creates more of an intimate space, which is really lovely for families. So all in all, I think this is a really fun look. But what if you want something just a little more edgy and dramatic? How about monochromatic black and white? It scares a lot of people I know because they think the room will be cold and uninviting. But get it right and it can be superb. So my secrets to getting it right are always work in shades of black and white. It doesn't have to be a strict black on white. Have some accessories that have curve in them as well. That just softens the harsh lines. And always remember to incorporate different types of textures and always a little bit of greenery. 
One of the biggest changes you can make in any room is to reconfigure the furniture. It gives you a whole new viewpoint. And remembering that these are the same pieces of furniture as we used in the look before, which I guess is why it's so important. When you're buying a big ticket item like a sofa, always go for a neutral colour if you can and clean classic lines. That way it'll take on lots of different styles of cushions and accents that you can throw at it over the years. So here is where we can start styling up to time with our monochromatic theme. When you're buying throws, don't just think of them for warmth, think of them as another layer of texture to a room. So this one's got this lovely knitted twist throughout and it just adds that nice band of black, it just gives you a nice backdrop. And as for colour, you can incorporate some colour into a monochromatic scheme. The reason why I'm incorporating blue here is to tie in with our accent chairs on the opposite side of the room. So this will add balance and help to unify the space. So one cushion on the back there, the black reinforces the look. This tiny little twist of black, it's a detail again. It's all about those little elements that bring the look together. Dressing a console like this for this kind of style is quite an exercise in discipline. You want just enough but not too much. Keep everything edited. Start with your backdrop. Now this could be a mirror, in this case it's an artwork. And looking at the scale of the console, we could sit it this way. That fits in really nicely with the width. But I want more height to the room. So that's why I'm going to go portrait rather than landscape. And in terms of positioning, you could position right in the middle. I think that's a little bit boring. Offset it, it just keeps people guessing. So in this case, offset one artwork. And if you want to keep it really interesting, just add a second piece and just slightly overlap it. And that little bit of glass in there just adds a little bit of reflection throughout the room. So a pair of those just adds height and interest to a display. What I'm using here again is that pop of blue, which just brings the blue in from the chairs and the cushions. That's it. Don't overdo it. That is a beautiful scheme for a contemporary design. Oh, he looks great there. When shopping for indoor plants for this style of room, my recommendation would be to go for something that's quite structured and architectural. Mother-in-law's tongue is such a great plant, indoors and out. You used to see them a lot in the 70s, well they're back on trend. Now, if you don't have quite so much money to spend on big pot plants, you could always build yourself a couple of these planter stands. Fairly easy, you could make them out of pine. And what they do is to elevate little pot plants and makes more of a deal of them. They have big impact in a room. I think the key to getting this look spot on is being restrained with your palette and also repetition of colour. So having the black and white here on the sideboard, that's your focal point and we've taken it around the room. So not only in the accents but also in the little details in the cushioning and also the accents over here. Now remember, grey is a half tone of black and white, so having that as your neutral base down below ties in also with the sofa, so it magically works. What warms your black and white colour scheme is the natural element, so it's plants and of course timber. Great for a young professional couple, or if you've got an apartment, or if you like styling just a little bit more clean. And now, for my third look, you may have heard of it. It's known as the Hamptons. What exactly is Hampton style? Well, it's a classic look. It's upmarket coastal chic. It kind of has that Ralph Lauren vibe. Now, natural elements really form the basis of this look, but most people know it as the blue and white kind of vibe. It is of the sea, so you want to make sure that you've got some natural elements in it. Flowers are always popular in Hampton style, as is coral and also glass, anything that connects it to the ocean. This time, the sofa stays in exactly the same position. It's the rug that sets the scene for the nautical coastal look. Now, you can't go past a stripe when you're trying to get this kind of style. If you don't have something like this at hand, you could use jute or sisal, anything that takes you to the seaside. This is beautiful and it really grounds the space. There are a 
few classic fabrics you want to look out for for this style. One is ticking, which is this navy and white striped fabric. They used to actually cover mattresses with it, and you see it in a lot of vintage styles. And what it's often offset with is overscale florals. So beautiful. But to stop this becoming a little bit too on the feminine side, you want to pair it with a solid block colour. This navy blue paired with it just adds strength and uniformity to the look. Now for the front, Again, it's an overscale floral, but with a white background. It just freshens up the whole scene. And you'll notice, sat there as a lumbar cushion, it still allows your eye to see these two cushions at the back. Now, one thing to remember with your cushions is go for a good, generous insert. These are feather-filled cushions, so plump and generous. That's because the inserts are one size larger than the size of the cushion cover. That's the secret to getting the perfect karate chop. Typically, Hampton style has a lot of blue and white ceramics in it. It's a bit of a nod to an oriental style, and it also incorporates ginger jars. This one is a bit of a showstopper, plain white but with this beautiful piercing and an overscale look. Scale is so important in any room. If you can have one or two pieces that are larger, it just adds impact and energy to the space. And what I like here is sat in front of this aerial view of the ocean, it just really pops and makes the blue sink back and you really appreciate the shape. Hampton's chic, I love it. It always is a winner. It doesn't matter if you live in the country or the city or by the sea, it just works. It has a fresh, vibrant energy that will just liven up any room. So I guess this goes to prove that really it doesn't matter if you're renovating or if you've moved into a new place or if you're just after a new look. Having the right key elements means you can build upon them. So for our look number one, we chose a family-friendly vibe. Lots of pops of colour and just a relaxed kind of element to make the whole family just feel like they were definitely at home. For our second look, we went for something with a little bit more contrast, something that was edgy and contemporary. Great if you live in the city and you just want that fuss-free kind of look. So styling like a designer is something I reckon anyone can do. It's just understanding the value and the power of accessories. Having the right key elements, it's kind of like a little black dress. You can just build upon it and create the look that you want to suit your style. 